with the guidance, with the shielding guidance in the UK, with that came along a package of support, including mental health uh, support, which was was ramped up for for those who who were shielding if they needed that. And they say that the the tips which are going to be offered by government to those who were shielding, that will simply not get the job done. There is, I would imagine, a specific need for mental health carefulness, if that's the right word to use at the very least around this area. Absolutely. And, you know, there's practitioners like myself. I treat people from all over the world, Mm. um, including the UK, and doing a lot of it online now. And actually what I do is very, very effective online, believe it or not. Mm. Um, Thank God in my case, that's the case. Uh, But we have to get creative about, um, you know, especially if you you can't afford treatment, you have to get creative about how to heal. And Mm. I think that we have to take what we have and make it a gem. And I think that COVID is helping us to really focus and have gratitude for what we have and how we can make the most of what we have. And as far as um, one of the things that we have to change is our lacking mentality. A lot of people have had a lacking mentality, but we have to have a a mentality of abundance and we have to focus on, you know, what we do have and, and how we can make the most of our resources. And one of the resources that we do have right now is technology. Mm believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And there are apps and there's technology and digital applications that can really help people to maybe give them coping skills or ideas on how to balance their life. I'm actually launching a brand this year um, called Renew Me Brand. And that is, it's going to be a whole app um, Mm -hmm. in the space of Common Headspace, um, in the space of mindfulness, but a whole lot more to help people to to gain coping skills and and what have you. So there are applications that people can use Mm -hmm. now to, you know, help them to gain more balance. Yeah. I mean, in, in so many ways, trying to go through all of this 30 or 40 years ago without the technology that we now have, we wouldn't even have been able to, uh, to, to talk to you as easily this morning, and I'm grateful for your time. Dr. Lisa Palmer, psychotherapist and family therapist, joining me on the line this morning.